the 12 week year. What an amazing book. I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you, Cindy, for recommending that book to me. I had never heard of it. And I'm so glad that you recommended it to me because I think it is an amazing book. So what is the 12 week year? Well, I touched on it a little bit yesterday when I talked about vision and having a vision for your life. So what the 12 week year is basically, um, it's gonna, it helps. The goal is to help you live the life that you are capable of living as opposed to the life that you are currently living. So that really speaks to me because I'm not really living the dream here. I am not. And I know I'm capable of much more. And the dog's going crazy today. And, um, you know, I, I want to live the life that I'm capable of living. So the 12th year is basically, just as it says, is, is, combining like the whole year into 12 weeks. So each week represents a month and each day represents a week. So you're really concentrating all of your effort into, you know, a small amount of time. The goal is to keep you focused and on track and not let time pass you by because when you set a yearly goal, like I had my I did a video on resolutions around the new year. And, you know, a whole year, 12 months is daunting. And it, at least in my opinion, and it kind of paves the way to quit, which is my MO, right? By the time the end of the year rolls around, I have any gains that I may have had in the beginning of the year are long gone. And I'm pretty much back to the same spot that I was the previous year. Well, this 12 week year concentrates it. So it doesn't really allow you to miss a day, essentially, or not many days because it kind of constitutes a week at a time. So basically your vision, your vision is your life plan, right? That's what you want to accomplish. That's the life you're capable of, is what you write down in your vision. and. So the 12 week year is the action steps that you need to take in order to achieve your vision. So you don't start off going crazy either. You start with one, like one to three goals that you work on. So for example, I want to lose 10 pounds in this three weeks, not three weeks, three months in this 12 weeks. I want to lose 10 pounds in 12 weeks. So that's my goal. Now, what are, they call them tactics. What are the tactics I'm going to use to achieve this goal? Well, so these are the things that you do each day to achieve your goal. So I'm going to eat healthy. I'm just going to eat whole foods. I'm going to get my 30 minutes of exercise in each day. Um, I'm going to go to the gym you know, like twice a week. That's my, that, that's my goal right now, but you know, you know what I mean? So what things do you, can you, what steps do you take each day to accomplish your goal? And so at the end of the week, you tally up your actions taken, all these tactics and see what your percentage is. And it's in, like in the book, it, he says that if you achieve 85% of your tactics each week, you're on the right track you're good like so it's not about complete and utter perfection it's about being being true to it most of the time and it says if you are like 40 percent one week it's okay like don't quit just improve for the next week so the fact that the results are pretty immediate because you're doing this once a week they call them like wham meetings which is weekly accountability meetings but it's basically that's if you can find another person to do it with you. But if you're just doing it yourself, you can just, you just do it once a week. At the end of the week, you tally up how you did and you have a percentage and then you plan the next week. So this just really resonates with me. It's how I like to do things. Um, even I had a huge list of goals that I wanted to do this year. And I knew that and it, 
it was not practical for me to start them all in January because it's just so much and some some goals hinged on me actually completing like other goals. So this method of doing things, thinking of it as a 12 week year, really works, at least, at least for me, because then I can, I can do like set goals every 12 weeks. So I can implement goals that I have further down the line. I actually make a point of implementing them um, in my 12 week plan, because otherwise if I it was the whole year, and it easily gets away from you where you don't implement those other goals because either you don't review your goals often enough or you give up. So I think this is a really good method to keep you accountable and to also see change like quickly, as long as you put in the work. I mean, if you don't take the action steps that you set out for yourself, it's not gonna work. Like it's that simple. But if you uh, has has examples and um, examples of people that have succeeded with it, and it's like if you kind of just like tip your toe in or dip your toe in, it's not going to work. You have to work the plan the way it's meant to be worked, not dabble. There's no dabbling in this. It's all or nothing, basically. I mean, I guess if you dabbled, you would see some success, but it would not be to the extent as if you were actually fully committed to doing this. And I it just. This book really spoke to me and I'm ready to commit to it because I'm kind of doing what I had set out to do at the beginning of the year anyways, which like I'm sticking to my goals. But just knowing that it's a 12 week period, I don't know with, with my mind, but it's like that is very doable as opposed to 12 months. Like me keeping this up for 12 months seems like, like not impossible, but next to it because just pat the history, right? past is the indication of the present and I'm not interested in repeating the past. So this, by coming, by developing new tactics every 12 weeks and building up, building upon them, just I think is a great idea and a great, um, a great method of achieving your goals. And I'm going to keep updating you on what, how I'm doing with it because I think it's really fascinating and I, I don't see a downside. I think if you have any, like, even if you didn't do, didn't get 85%, just getting in the habit of of doing the daily tasks that you need to do to accomplish your goals, I think, is a win. And I guess the worst thing that could happen was you're the exact same as you are right now. I don't know, but I don't really see a downside to trying this out and like really giving it my all. So. Since I don't really have any friends or, or anyone that I know in my life that is really interested in improving their uh, themselves or their, you know, their station in life, I'm going to be posting weekly videos, maybe lives, I don't know, on these WAM, these weekly accountability meetings. And um, just to update you on how I'm doing if I if I go live, which is what I would like to do, um, then others that are also following this book can, you know, join in and we can discuss it and keep each other motivated and going and um, keep each other, like, give me, like, it's not really keeping each other accountable because, like, in the end, you're accountable for your own actions. There's no one can tell you what to do, but... Some people might have developed strategies along the way that are useful and might be useful to others. So I think it's beneficial and it's recommended in the book to do these weekly meetings. So I'm gonna start those, not this week because I'm just starting. I'm gonna start on Sunday. I'm gonna put in the effort over the weekend and really na uh, nail down my two to three goals, which are probably gonna be the, basically the same goals that I'm working towards now. So I'm gonna nail down a plan for the 12 months sorry, 12 weeks. And so the following Monday, not this Monday, but next Monday, I'll, I think I'll go live with how my week went and hopefully others will join me. So yeah, I'm really excited. And again, thank you, Cindy, for recommending this book. It's just what a great concept. So if you're struggling with your New Year's resolutions, Maybe you've gone off track. I've already gone off track with them. I mean, I've been doing okay this week, but like on the weekend, the weekend is coming. 
that's usually where I mess up, but um, if you kind of got off the rails with your resolutions, try this book. It's called The 12 Week Year, and it's on, it's on um, Audible. I've been listening to it on Audible, and it was free. Like, I didn't even have to use a credit, but it's definitely worth a credit, and um, yeah, it's awesome. Just, I'll link it in, to Audible in the description because, wow, it's, it's great. And I think it's a really, like I said, an amazing concept. And I'm really excited to start and to hopefully see some progress on what I am doing. So yeah, thanks for listening. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow.